spiral into two against South Carolina. How do you all avoid that after a result like this? We digest this loss tonight that we took tonight. I mean, digest it tomorrow if need so, but come Monday morning, not an afternoon, man, we got to get ready for next week. And that's against Missouri. Was it just breakdowns on your ends? What, was it something Tennessee was doing that they were just violating? I mean, we had breakdowns in our defense, but we got to give credit to Tennessee. They took what the defense gave them and they executed. Was there anything that high those guys did differently that you maybe didn't see on tape or just anything that surprised you? No, it wasn't anything different. Like I said, we were, we were out of position some of the plays, and then sometimes they, they earned it. I mean, but, you know, like I said, give credit to them. They, they played a hard fall game. Is that frustrating for you guys when you get some good stops and then they just turn around and throw 35 yards to kind of mitigate the, what you just did on the past two downs? I mean, it can be frustrating, but you got to play the next play. I mean, I mean, it's like they're the number three team in the country, so they're going to create explosive plays. This is how we, how we can manage the next play after that. Did you feel any sort of quit in the team going down the stretch in the second half? Oh, no, 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 no. That, that, that was our main point, the emphasis coming out of that locker room. You know. If you if you're gonna have your head down and everything, they don't need for you to be on that field. So we made sure of that. All right. Anything else, you guys? All right. Thank you, Kedron. Appreciate it. Right, we talked about big words of a fast start all week. What do you think just happened on that first mission? Yeah. Uh, you know, a little bit disappointing. You know, it was a route. You know that. You know, it worked, and we knew it was coming, and. Um, we obviously knew, you know, Hyatt, you know, was a, a focal point. Um, and the, the fact that they didn't get passed off, that was a little bit disappointing. Um, but, you know, uh, I was proud of the guys. And, you know, second drive, they rebounded, right? Um, but, yeah, you, we talk about a fast start and make them earn it. And, and we were doing it. Uh, they had the uh, – they were having to earn it. And then – you know, the, the the next touchdown drive, there was what, uh, probably one or two, uh, you guys would know, the fourth downs, I think. You know, there was the sneak and then there was the dive. Um, so we we're getting them to that point. Um, but at the end of the day, it wasn't good enough. You know, we didn't we didn't create any short fields for the offense. Uh, you know, we knew we were going to have to create some turnovers. We did not. Um, I was proud of the guys' fight. They, they, they fought the entire game. I thought their mentality was right. But just there was a couple of gimmies. Then that's that was the deal that we talked about. Hey, if they're gonna make contested catches, right? That a hey, tip of the cap. But don't let don't just cut them free. And there was uh, at least three plays that you know a guy was way too open. Brad, what's the key to keeping guys heads up after you know, a month ago? You're four and zero, and now three losses in the last four games. Yeah, I mean that's. Hey, that's life. You know, what, what's the key? It's football character. What do you have inside you? You know, there's going to be times that you're just riding high and things are great. There's going to be thing, times when you're when you're down low, um, and you got to pick yourself back up. And you got to be a great teammate, and you got to pick up your other teammates. And you got to just keep chopping. And you got to just keep coming to practice. And it sounds cliche, and it sounds coach speak, but that's life. And we, you come to the SEC, you're going to freaking figure it out real quick that every single week it's going to be a physical battle. And we got another big time road test um, next week. So if you want to sulk, if you want to put your head down, right, then we're going to have to find someone else. I don't <coughs> think that's going to be the case with this defense. I would, again, I was proud of them. Uh, there was no finger pointing, there was no nothing uh, on the sideline, just ready to go back out and compete. Uh, you know, did not obviously make enough stops, and especially at, at times that we needed them. Um, would have been really big. We needed to force at least just a field goal uh, there before the half. Uh, that one's obviously disappointing, and uh, you know, it's on me. All right, it was the second high touchdown, same deal. You're supposed to get handed off to, to the safety, and it just didn't happen. The one right before half? Yeah. yeah both, they, both his touchdowns. Both his touchdowns. It, it, yeah, it wasn't. Uh, you know, I'm not going to talk about who was supposed to be on and, and all, but um, there should have been a you know a pass there and uh, something that we've worked in practice, but uh, you know, obviously, it didn't get done. Right, when you lose the Andre for your own tonight, just how different is the defense? We don't have either of those, you know, senior linebackers. 
Yeah, you know what? But I think you felt him on the sideline. His, his he was still uh, very much, you know, a leader. Uh, really proud of him in terms of his leadership on the sideline. Uh, I thought, uh, you know, both the Eric and you know Trevin stepped in and, and did a, a good job. I, we got to look at the tape, but it felt like they were uh, they played solid. Uh, there was the one missed tackle on the first sort of long run. Um, you know, obviously that the Eric wishes he had back, but you know his run fit was right. Uh, we just got to get that ball to the ground. Uh, same thing coming out of the post. You know, uh, so again, I, there were there were things that we did well, but not well enough and not consistently enough against that offense. You got to be, you know, you you got to be on it, and you know we weren't. Now that you've seen that offense up close, I mean, what makes it so good? Is it just scheme, execution, a combination of the two that just sees on their mistakes? Or you know? Yeah, I, I think they do a nice job, uh, you know, of, of going with tempo, getting you, uh, and, and we knew that going in, you know, to, to get you sort of hurried and make sure that your communication's right and then, uh, they can they can do some check with me to the sideline. You know we tried to, you know, get in and out of some calls. You know which I thought helped us some. Um, but they've got the quick ability to snap back to the line and you know and run a play. So uh, that makes it a little bit difficult because as soon as you guys you take your eyes away from the <laughs> the line of scrimmage, you know, and they come right back and they snap the ball, you're in trouble. So. Um, the, the the piece that again I wish you know that we could have done better is some of those uh, short yardage situations. You know I thought those would have been a few that that we could have taken advantage and, and gotten ourselves off the field, created some momentum, uh, and we did not take advantage of those. Brad, to you, what's the most impressive thing about him? Uh, he makes the right he makes the right decision. You know and you know we made it easy on him a couple of times. Um, in terms of which guy to throw to, throw to the, the, the wide open one, you know, and that was the, the plan was obviously to make him earn it and, and throw contested balls. Um, I thought when there were, you saw when there were contested balls, uh, our guys made plays. You know, I thought Andrew Phillips made two really good ones, uh, you know, there in the red zone on, on consecutive plays. Um, and you know, then we had another one uh, down in the red zone. So, again, wasn't good enough. You know, didn't didn't fully execute the plan. Maybe it was it wasn't good enough plan. We'll put it at that. It's it's on me, uh, and and we'll get it fixed. Brad, does it add any extra frustration for you at all that this this came off a of bye? I mean, you maybe had a little more time to prepare for. As he's yeah, I don't know if that adds more frustration. I, again, um, the other thing that makes this ho offense hard is the replication of it. To try to replicate that offense in practice is really, really hard. And so you don't really get the full effect until you're on the field. And so... Um, whether you have one week or two weeks or you know an entire off season, the replication process is hard, and so uh, I don't think you necessarily gain the advantage like you would in some other style offenses, where you have time to to make certain checks, look at the formations, get yourself into you know understand what's coming. Um, I think that's where the real challenge of this offense is. Thanks. Thanks, Rich. Thanks.